Hello everyone, welcome to another Arc Mobile video. I'm Rootree, and here's a quick video showcasing how the game looks on an iPhone 7. I've decided to start my recording a little early to test out killing a Therizinosaur on this device, and it runs really well. Before I talk about the minimum specs on this phone though, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to see more Arc Mobile content, and be sure to click the bell to be notified whenever I stream. Don't forget that a few days ago, Arc Mobile Soft launched in Canada. If you're in Canada, you can download the base game on your iOS device now as Trust has their servers. The soft launch available for iOS devices also has single player, a feature not yet available in the Arc Mobile beta. The soft launch is not available on Android, but the developers confirm that they are going to be announcing the release date very soon. I'm also using the in-game recorder for Arc Mobile, and that uses up additional RAM while playing. While not recording, there is slightly better performance on the phone. Using the in-game recorder also has some audio desync, which is not in the main game at all. So I put my favorite songs by YouTuber DJ Real Deal in the video as well. If anyone is interested in hearing more of his music, check out his channel in the description below. Going in and out of your inventory, as well as shuffling items on your toolbar, is very seamless on the iPhone 7. Playing on the iPhone 7 defaults to medium graphics quality. Changing the graphics quality to high makes a slight difference in the graphics. Overall though, I would recommend playing with medium graphics quality on the iPhone 7 to reduce any possible performance issues and lag. The iPhone 7 meets the minimum specs for playing Arc Mobile to keep at least 30 frames a second in-game. The phone has 2GB of RAM, which is the minimum specs for iOS devices. Android requires 3GB of RAM in order to keep a consistent 30fps. If your phone or tablet is below these specs, there's a good chance that it will not run at optimal 30 frames a second. The developers confirm that they are only optimizing the app for devices that meet the criteria and will not officially be supporting any devices that do not have enough RAM to run the app. If anyone is interested in reading even more into the recommendations to run Arc Mobile on iOS and Android, I'll be posting links in the description to the official dev posts and YouTube channel with more information. I'll also be posting a short list of the spec recommendations, so if people want to quickly check if their phone works without clicking any additional links, that works too. Thanks everyone for watching the video! Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Arc Mobile content. I post at least three times a week with Arc Mobile, including live streams on my Arc Mobile Let's Play series. Thanks for watching, I hope everyone has a great day!